So he's a remains of the machine. The machine was ruined. The guy who used to run it decided he knew better and he rewelded everything and so it's just a stand for the machine and uh, petrol cooler and some passive pumps just columns here here's the elements and here's the steel it's been completely rebuilt they tried to make it bigger in hopes it's gonna produce more fuel but you still supply only six kilowatt of electricity to this machine and despite of making it bigger or somehow different you won't be able to do anything so now we need to take it back home fix it up rebuild it make it running again Half a dozen or a and dozen bring it over to install and run. Yeah, we grab them. Yeah, yeah. What, what, Now I'm trying to run it again to see if everything's fine. Just primed it up. It's a controller and temperature we have some fuel getting displaced from the reactor chamber because it's already possibly boiling there, not possibly but definitely. So as soon as we'll reach about 100 degrees we would need to increase the flow, just start the flow, we'll see, and again it's test, test run. Okay, here we have some petrol and of course some water at the bottom. Because fuel contains some water, you can see it's dirty, but petrol itself is transparent on top. A bit cloudy some water at the bottom because petrol containing water this mixed fuel containing water not really clean one uh, and what evaporates along with petrol but it's gonna settle it's gonna settle after some time of storage like 20 hours 24 hours one day and everything would become transparent and we can separate water from petrol easily Here's diesel fuel. It's dark because uh, diesel fuel actually takes all the coloring from the petrol. Petrol coming out absolutely transparent and diesel fuel coming out uh, sort of darkish like that. It won't affect the vehicle but it's still be possible to settle it with some silica gel and make it absolutely transparent again is a unit and this one is 6 kilowatt should be capable of up to 60 liters of mix per hour petrol mm. 
water at the boat. It's just separated. It's dirty water. So it's a diesel fuel separation. And temperature, 135. It's a processing temperature. Here's the diesel fuel separated from an accidental petrol diesel mix. 